YouTubers. It's Friday and I'm in Nottingham. I was hoping to get these done last night, but obviously I couldn't really. Um, but I got two to do. I don't know if I've just said that. I've only just woke up 10 minutes ago. Um, I stayed uh, next to the British car auctions in um, Nottingham. No problems at all, apart from this morning. Um, there seems to be some kind of blockage for all these cars coming in, so the whole road was just rammed with cars waiting to go into the auction. Um, bit of a nightmare getting out, because obviously um, the road was packed. Um, but I got, I got out in the end. Um, so this one now, I'm at now, this is not the address I was given. This is, um, I rang them up yesterday and um, said they, would, they wouldn't be at the address given yesterday, uh, today, sorry. Um, so I've arranged to deliver it to this address for him instead. Uh, I cleared it with the company first, obviously. And um, you see, it's, you said on the phone last night, it's, it's quite difficult to find. Um, I found a number close to his house number, um, but I'll I'll give him a ring. He said about half past seven, so I'm not I'm not going to ring him too early. It's only what ten past seven now or something like that. So I'll um I'll that's why I've come up this basically I've come up to this road here and I've parked up. It's just down the road where his house is. Uh, I'll, I'll give him a chance to wake up and stuff. It's not it's not the first thing you want to do in the morning, is it? Carry a load of heavy stuff. So. I'll wait till about half past, then I'll give him a ring and tell him I'm just down the road. So he will come out and uh, meet me, or I suppose I can spot him. Um, and then I've got another one after that, which is, um, I think he's in the same area. Well, ish. Nottingham, anyway. So, if it's within an hour, I'll be happy with that, and then I can go home. Uh, I'm not actually too far from home now, I'd probably say I'm about 50 miles. Um, as a crow flies, 50 miles. So then I've got to go up, uh, I'll probably cut through Chesterfield, um, basically through the, the National Park, and then um, be back in towards Stockport, Manchester. Uh, if I'm back too early though, I suspect the company may send me out again on a local one, uh, on one of the vans, if one of the vans are available. Uh, I'm not too sure, but today is the 30, 30, 31st, 31st, and my truck should be here, should be, we shall see, I, I don't think it's going to be actually, I think it's going to be at least another week, uh, simple reason is it's August, and the new registration comes out in August, so they're probably going to want to give it a 65 plate instead of a 15 plate, I don't I don't know why they do that, it's just a wagon, it's not going to hold any more value because of this two digits different on the registration. Well, I wouldn't think so anyway. Maybe for a car, because it, it looks younger, doesn't it? And if you're not from the UK, once a year, uh, so every six months the registration changes slightly. Um, first half of the year of 2015, you'll have a number 15 on your registration number. The second half, you'll have a, a 65 on your registration number. And then next year, 2016, you'll have a 16 on your plate at the beginning of the year. And at the end of the year, you'll have a uh, 66. So that's roughly how it works. Um, so people tend to, if you're gonna buy a car, tend to wait till like August or whenever the other one, whenever it changes the other end. I think it's uh, January, I'm not sure. I really don't know actually on that one, February, March. So I, th I suspect that's what they're probably going to do is wait for the uh, the new registration to come out. Um, I don't know if it's been uh, had the sign writing on it yet or or what, but um, I have to wait for all that as well. Anyway. Um, I was going to say something then, it's gone. Yeah. No answer. I suspect he'll bring me back, he might be having a shower or a shave or something like that. Morning, it's a uh, delivery driver. Not too bad. Um, your road is on a hill, isn't it? 
Right, okay, I've gone all the way up and I've gone past the roundabout and parked up just so I'm out of the way. So do I need to come back? Is it on the bend where you live? Yeah, I've seen that bridge, yeah. Right, okay, we've got a couple of minutes then. Cheers, pal. Yep, bye bye. Right. Wrong number. Right, let's go. It's just down here. Let's give yourself a bit of room. Outside and meet me. It's quite a difficult spot by the look of it. It's going to be, I'd rather reverse it to be honest because this road's quite busy. And um, get in gear, good girl. Um, this road's quite busy, so don't fancy reversing out of it on a bend as well. That's my official risk assessment. Where are you going, mister? Go on then. That was around that's a roundabout by the way. I thought I could go but she floored it, so uh, yeah. This part of Nottingham is quite nice actually, I'm guessing it's um, got a bit of money. Right, here we are. How tall is this bridge? 13.6. There's a bridge in front of me which is 13 foot 6, so I'm going to have to plunk it here, I'm going to have to reverse out. The drop and put in the next address, not really what you want to see, I've got no option, I've got to say yes, otherwise it won't take me there. So it's 31 minutes away, um, slightly further out towards the sticks by the look of that, well, there we go. Right, I'm giving, I'm giving you the view that I have through the mirror. Now obviously I can move my head and the mirror probably looks a lot bigger to me than it does to you on your screen. Um, so I'm doing a, a, a reverse left now on a bend so I can't see actually see what's coming. Um, obviously I'm going to be using my left mirror a lot more than the right mirror but I can't reach the camera once I put it over that side. That's why you're on this side. So. Take your time. Just have to hope that someone's going to let you go. But you don't know until you actually see a car physically stop behind you. Ah, there, well, there's one stop behind me. Only because he wanted to turn in this place. Well, there we go. Easy does it. So I don't think you can actually get to this one until. Let me just adjust the old view. I don't think I can actually get to this one until um, 8, 8.30. Let me just stop the camera and change your view back to wide angle. I was saying, I don't think I can actually get to this one until... Um, I've just set off in fourth gear, I don't know how that worked, but it did. On the hill, I suppose. I can't get to this one until 8.30. Uh, I'm going to get there at 10 past 8. So I'll I'll, uh, I'll try my luck. Oh, 
Okay, so uh, just turned off the main road onto this road that says it's unsuitable for HGVs. I hope there's a place to turn around down there because this is the road that I'm delivering on. your fault. So moved over a bit more. Pruning the trees for them. Turn left. Let's see turn left. Turn right. Turn right. Oh, I don't like the look of this. Oh, there we go. It's not too bad. Let's get right over on this grass. There we go. Our heads round. Right, so I'm here by the look of it. Be nice, to, be nice to live here actually, nice and quiet, out of the way. Well, that's not a good sign, is it? What's the width of this here? Yeah, I can through that. Reverse it in there, or can I get? Yeah. All right, no problem. Okay. narrows into a path actually that I'm reversing on now. Trying to keep that to grass it's someone's lawn that. Oh, there's a car behind me 
somewhere. I'll see that in a minute ago. I think that's a lot. Friday and I'm done. Easy. Job's easy sometimes. Sometimes it's hard. Today it's been easy. Two drops and I'm done. Can't more at that. So I tell the sun's uh, sun's warm today. So um, navigate home. Go. Um, Please verify your vehicle profile and then say change or OK. 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 Useless technology. It's getting old now that. That's probably, a, I'd say about a year old now, that's that enough. The map's about nine months old. Right, so, um, yeah, I, could just, I could just live here. It's lovely. There's no noise. Nothing. I can't whisper and you can hear me still. Most probably. <laughs> um, right, I'll, uh, I'll I'll stop for a break on the way back and um, sort the wagon out. I'll uh, I'll take you with me. If there's enough memory card, space on the memory card, I'll, I'll take you with me. Um, probably a couple of hours to get home. So um, I reckon I should be back by what time is it now? Eight fifteen. About eleven half eleven. I should be back. Should be in my house by about 12, quarter past 12, I guess. It says three hours to get home. 
but I'm going to change the route, I'm going to pull over in a minute and get it to go via a different plot, oh, beautiful lake there. Right, let's uh, see how we go with this van. Oh, easy. Miserable sod. second gear unless the wagon's full otherwise basically first gear on trucks is a crawler gear sometimes you have two crawler gears and sometimes you have two uh, reverses one basically one, one of the crawler one limits your revs so you can't uh, go too fast so sometimes you have two reverse two firsts this one just has one first but it's uh, the gear ratio is set up so pretty much guaranteed to be able to you know to move no matter what much weight you've got on there uh, or the hill although it did struggle a bit the other day but I don't think that was this wagon I think that was the other wagon that was a bit knackered the lay bike down on the other side ah oh, here we go I knew there's one here it's another one with the butty man though Yeah, 